Hello everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage and Mage's Quest 2 talk about games. In today's video I want to talk about 5 THQ Nordic games or game series I'd like to see on Nintendo Switch. With the recent sale of some of Square Enix's studios and IPs to the Embracer Group or THQ Nordic, it got me thinking of which game series that THQ Nordic have that we haven't seen yet on Nintendo Switch. We have a few videos talking about games mostly arcade and retro on the channel, if you'd like to watch these then please take a look. If you like our content and want to help the channel grow, please click that like, subscribe and notification bell for more of our content in the future. If you are one of the 90 plus subscribers on the channel so far, thank you very much. It's literally the only way this channel can grow. Since the launch of the Nintendo Switch, THQ Nordic have supported the console with both physical retail and digital games. We have seen retail games like, but not limited to, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Rad Rogers, The Darksiders Trilogy, Darksiders Genesis, The Metro Games, Titan Quest, Kingdoms of Emmerlore, Saints Row, several Star Wars games including Star Wars Pinball. The Embracer Group or THQ Nordic are now in the process of acquiring studios from Square Enix which includes 50, that's right 50, back catalogue titles also including 1,100 employees in this deal. THQ Nordic's focus is on fixing, upscaling and the general polishing of older or AA games, usually updating these with quality of life improvements to possibly introduce these to a new player base and to bring general happiness to the older one. They are also developing AAA games. Personally, I like this idea too, for lack of a better word, polishing older games and relaunching them. I do find myself buying more of them for the Nintendo Switch. The idea of having these games with me on the go is enough for me to double dip and buy a lot of older games again. One thing I find with older games is sometimes really difficult to install the game or to even get to play it. This is why I generally support the idea of bringing older games to new consoles, especially if they are a handheld. Back to THQ Nordic and Square Enix, assuming this process does go through to completion, let's take a look at 5 games that I'd like to see from THQ Nordic on the Nintendo Switch in no particular order. So at number 5 there's Gothic, Risen and the Alex series. First one on the list and there are already 3 games you say. Well to begin with I had these games listed separately but unfortunately I found that they were actually quite similar so I put them all together. All 3 games are third person RPGs made by Piranha Bytes. The Gothic games having 4 games, that's Gothic, Gothic 2, Gothic 3 and Gothic Arcania. Risen having 3, 1, 2 and 3, and Alex having 2 games, 1 and 2. These games see the player going through a story driven adventure with generally a lot of dialogue and combat. The gameplay usually involves the player taking control of a character that's lost everything or they need to regain all the character's memory, status or items. The combat in the series is kinda clunky but it is fun to play, I generally enjoy playing through the worlds that these games have. I always feel like the locations and the people within them exist and that my character is indeed always improving, even though sometimes this improvement is a little slow or difficult. Speaking of difficulty, if you are not a fan of learning how to adapt to a game's combat or controls you might want to watch a review before you buy any of these games. Overall Gothic would be my first pick out of these games, as for me it stands out and it would probably need the most quality of life improvements out of all of them. Maybe we could see all three in a bundle. Alex would be a close second and Risen would be third, as these games could use improvements from Gothic and would probably benefit from more familiarity of porting the game engine to the Switch itself. At number 4, Satisfactory. A bit of a shift in genres here to survival crafting. Yes, this is a THQ Nordic owned game. As the name suggests, you create a factory line of industry on another world. With games like Astroneer, which is already available, and No Man's Sky, which will be available shortly, I would definitely like to see more of this type of game on Nintendo's handheld. I really think this game genre lends itself well to the handheld platform. Maybe it won't look as good, but the gameplay would be fun nonetheless. As we are talking about THQ Nordic, then why not have satisfactory on the Nintendo Switch. If this game ever comes out for Nintendo Switch can we please have touchscreen controls for the inventory management at least. At number 3 we have Soul Reaver, a game series that has been dormant for far too long. The Legacy of Cain series had 3 games, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2 and Defiance. They were continuations of the Blood Omen series. The player plays as the character Raziel, a fallen vampire, another story driven adventure, this time including more platforming and puzzles. The story here really kept my attention and the gameplay was really fun, sometimes I found myself grappling with the camera a little bit but it never really became that much of an issue. This is a series with a big following and now that TH THQ Nordic has the IP, I am happy that we might finally see Soul Reaver 1 and 2 coming to the Nintendo Switch. 
A little bit of a side note here, a while back I felt that THQ Nordic would be a good fit indeed for this series, but I thought it would never happen. Now that it seems like it has, I'm really happy and I feel like there's a bigger chance of actually seeing these games on the Nintendo Switch. THQ Nordic, make it happen. At number 2, do CX, a surprise to us all that Square Enix sold this IP to Embracer or THQ Nordic. This series has a few games, but the ones I always end up thinking of are do CX, Invisible War, Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. In this list I would very much like to see the originals and Human Revolution come to the Nintendo Switch. It's not that I don't like Mankind Divided, it's just those will be my first picks. The first game being a groundbreaking first person shooter, blurring genres with an RPG. Good visuals, music, gameplay and most importantly really fun to play. Maybe a double pack for Deucey X and Invisible War like Aspire do with the Star Wars games and a standalone for Human Revolution. So last on our list is Tomb Raider, the shock announcement. I don't think a lot of us saw this coming. This gaming icon is one of the most liked game series and now it will belong to THQ Nordic. The first game coming out in 1996, so 26 years later, having a lot of titles in the series. Originally created for Windows, the original PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. Here are some of the games from this franchise that come to mind straight away for me. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 2013, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, and lastly Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. This is a great platforming franchise, not including some of the PS2 games maybe. I was really surprised not to see Lara Croft in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I spoke about in a previous video. Please feel free to watch that video after watching this one, thank you very much. I am happy that the Tomb Raider series will now be closer to being on the Nintendo Switch and we will be able to play these games on the go, hopefully. Once again, the original trilogy is what I hope comes in a bundle to the Nintendo Switch and the newer games can be their own own separate editions. If I had to pick one more game here it would be Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. I think it would fit very very well on the Nintendo Switch. As a bonus, I also want to mention the Go games. These games were pretty good. It was all about the gameplay and the IP helped, I guess, with the visibility. I hope these games also come to Nintendo Switch and I wouldn't mind these actually being digital only. So what did you think of this list of the five-ish THQ Nordics games slash series that I'd like on the Nintendo Switch? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? How would you change it? Please leave your impression down in the comment section. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much again for watching. If you want to help the channel grow, please click that like, subscribe and notification bell for more of our content in the future. And until then, thanks again.